You can imagine how many photos I have amassed since beginning this old camera's YouTube channel. I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds of rolls. Now, most of those photos are of little value uh, once they've served their purpose to anyone, perhaps except for me. I have most of those negatives and a lot of them are already scanned into digital form. Either I've scanned them myself or I have requested a digital scan from the lab that developed the film, right? So I've got these boxes of negatives that I pretty much have never gone back to look at with the very, very rare occasion of when I created photo books for myself. So on my coffee table, I have a few photo books that I've created from some travel photography that I've done specifically with my Olympus 35RC or my Olympus 35 SP or something like that, right? But those photos in and of themselves, I've found have been of little value to most people. And that is because of the style of my photography. Now, most of my photos, especially if you look at my Instagram, are usually of an urban cityscape. That's just because that's what I enjoy. I like to take pictures of things that illustrate color, things that illustrate lines, interesting quirky little tiny details about a place that I visit. This is why you have all these sort of uh, pictures of flowers and bottles and little corners of the street and things like that. I hardly ever take pictures of people. However, something interesting has happened. Uh, I've had a kind of a private experiment that I did while I was writing for a magazine. And basically I was comparing uh, some lenses mounted on their original film bodies uh, and then comparing to the kind of pictures I get with them converted and mounted on a digital body because uh, actually the topic I was writing about was getting the film look which is kind of all the rage in the photography scene and you'd be amazed how much of what we refer to as the film look is actually due to the lens that you're using. Um, it, I haven't done any video on that it was just a whole bunch of pictures that I took uh, as kind of an experiment to illustrate something and uh, that's a completely separate thing but something amazing happened while I was doing that I took a whole bunch of pictures of human beings of people so um, while I was doing that I kind of enjoyed it so it is a bit out of my comfort zone uh, but I have decided that going forward I'm gonna be pointing my camera more at human beings and take pictures of people and uh, and see what happens. Now, when it comes to portraiture, I'm not a complete noob, right? But it is outside my comfort zone. So when I went on my first few photo shoots uh, with my friends mostly, I wanted to completely eliminate any uncertainty. So it meant I didn't use any of my really, really quirky cameras or expired film or any of that. I went for a very, very standard setup. I basically used the Canon EOS 300 with a 50 millimeter f1.8 lens with Kodak Portra 400. Completely standard, absolutely nothing could go wrong with that. So that kind of freed me up to think more about composition and you know, focusing on the eyes and getting a nice, pleasant shot. Also, I wanted to make sure I got as many frames back as possible because obviously I was in practice mode. Uh, so I was trying to make it as many exposures as possible, shoot as many frames as possible to kind of get my rhythm and find what I like visually. Now, a lot of these portraits aren't what you would see with the professional shooters uh, or with professional models. Remember, these are mainly people that I know. They're my friends and the members of my family. If you're interested in looking at the photos that I'm taking of human beings, portraiture, then I've set up an Instagram account completely separate from the one that you might already be following. It's called People Shots. Basically, that's all it is, it's pictures of people that I've started to take. So if you're interested in that, you can go check out those photos on People Got Shots. I'd appreciate the support. And I'll be back soon with another camera review. And going forward, expect to see more photos of people. All right, that's me out for today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.